Hey, yo. How? 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 It has been all the rage all over social media. It's like number one or two in the United States trending on Netflix, the Tinder swindler. So I was like, I need to see what this is about. It's almost a two hour documentary about this guy who conned women out of like money. <laughs> Yo, the whole time that I was watching, right? Like they do the, the documentary is great, by the way. It's, it's really it's solid produced, like the timeline that they're giving you. It's 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 nice. They get the actual people who have been conned to tell the story, all of that. It's like a, it's a good documentary. It's very compelling. It's very like, you know, I want to sit here and watch this. But like in my mind, as each girl is talking, I, I have empathy and sympathy for them. You know, like, damn, it sucks. Like we definitely have like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of like debt that now needs to be paid because this guy was running a con, you know, on them on Tinder. He pretended to be somebody that he wasn't and then eventually got these girls to, to love him and then again pretended that people were after him and that they shut down all his credit cards and he couldn't flee these people so he convinced them to get loans and cards in their name that he could use so, until he got back to see them again the whole time all he's doing is taking one girl's money funding his extravagant lifestyle that looks like the son of a billionaire for the next girl and then that girl he takes and says that he has to run from her and then tells that girl to get a new loan for like 25 50 75 thousand dollars and then goes and uses it on the next girl and it's just one big ponzi scheme that's eventually going to fall on your face you can't keep that up that's what ponzi schemes are pyramid schemes but the whole time in my mind as i'm watching and as i'm seeing these things unfold i'm like how how as the women did you let this happen you just met this dude. I understand that he's providing and showing you this really extravagant lifestyle, but how did you let this happen? I don't understand. If my closest friends asked me for a $25,000 loan and didn't give me any reason other than I got people after me and my cards are fucking, they're frozen and I can't use them. I need money to escape and run from my enemies. I would be like, damn, that sucks but also nah, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel like I can't say for sure. I don't want to seem cynical or I don't want to seem like, you know, they were after the clout. They were after the money of this dude that he pretended to have. You know, if that were a normal dude, if it were a normal dude who didn't show him this billionaire, fake billionaire lifestyle, one, I don't think that they would have matched on Tinder. Two, if they did, I don't think that they would have fallen in love so quickly. And three, they wouldn't have got that loan for that person. So when you add all of those things together and if the shoe fits, wear it. And if if it sounds like a duck and walks and quacks like a duck, it is a duck. It's hard to it's hard for me to believe that they weren't there because of the money. And how are the red flags just not fucking right in your face and like your spidey senses aren't tingling? This dude gives you vague pretends he's in the diamond industry i get it right diamond people are really wealthy when you're at the top of the diamond industry so sure the story the story checks out but when he's and when he gives you very vague my enemies are after me i need twenty five thousand dollars. the red flags aren't going off in your head you're not like hey i just met you how about not nah? you're also not like hey you're the son of a multi-billionaire diamond tycoon the family's fortunes weren't enough you couldn't just borrow twenty five thousand from your family who is in the industry who knows that it's quote unquote really dangerous who knows that you have quote unquote enemies you wouldn't run to dad for it first it just blows my mind bro it blows my mind because everybody we all know not calling them gold diggers but we all know that if this dude was not pretending to be a billionaire, if this dude made $40,000 a year, this wouldn't have even been made, this documentary, because they would have not given that person a $25,000 loan. All for some vague information in the hopes that this person stays with them so they can keep up this extravagant lifestyle. Am I just too, am I, am I guarded already enough? Maybe it's a European thing. Maybe it's like that side of the world. You just automatically have more trust. I don't know. I don't know if it's a European thing or because it's the amount of money that he pretended to have or if it was both. Now that I'm sitting here thinking it, there's literally no way to deny that it wasn't for the money. Like it wasn't for the extravagant lifestyle that he said that he had. If it, if it wasn't for the amount of money that they felt that they were coming into, ain't no way. 
Ain't no way they would have did. I I wouldn't give somebody a thousand dollars. It's fucking wild, bro. <laughs> hey, it's fucking wild. There's just so many common sense red flags that these chicks did not even want to want to see because. They were infatuated with the lifestyle. And I don't want to sound like I'm picking on them. I honestly do feel bad for them that that happened. But it's hard to think that if another dude with no money asked for the same things and said the same vague shit, my enemies are after me. My enemies are after me? That's what convinced you to give a hundred, to give a loan to this dude? Motherfucker said, my enemies are after me. What the fuck does that even mean, yo? I get it. The diamond industry is very dangerous, but <laughs> man, is the, the Tinder swindler, it's a solid piece of entertainment for us, but the piece of entertainment only exists because there was lack of common sense. Lack of common sense or straight ignoring common sense for the lifestyle that this guy said that he could provide. <laughs> like what? <laughs> 